Hello to all the nurses and all the aspiring nurses out there. Thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel. Today I want to talk to you all about the different types of duties that there are in the Navy and that you can do while you're serving as a Navy Nurse Corps officer. Uh, the first three I'd like to talk about are what we call the big three. Uh, we have uh, Naval Medical Center um, in Balboa, San Diego, and then we have the uh, Naval Medical Center in Portsmouth, Virginia, and we also have Walter Reed National Military Medical Center in Bethesda, Maryland. So we refer to these as the big three because they are the biggest three naval hospitals in the whole world, and they have all of the capabilities that a normal hospital would have. Um, we also have smaller hospitals that are all around the United States. Uh, just for some examples, we have Naval Hospital Jacksonville, Florida. We have Naval Hospital Bremerton, Washington. And these are uh, hospitals with a lot of the same cap capabilities as our civilian counterparts. However, they're not as big as the big three. Um, another type of duty station that you could get um, to go to as a Naval Nurse Corps officer is uh, a clinic, so like a Naval Branch Health Clinic um, that offers ambulatory services and like urgent care type of services. Uh, some examples of this would be the Naval Branch Health Clinic in Port Wainimi, California and um, the Naval Branch Health Clinic at Cherry Point, North Carolina. Um, there are also overseas billets, so the same types of things that I just talked about, the hospitals, the clinics, except you're in an overseas type of billet. So right now, I'm in beautiful, sunny Okinawa, Japan, and I'm at the Naval Hospital in Okinawa, Japan. And um, that is a hospital, but it's a little bit smaller, kind of like what you would think a community hospital would be like. A lot of the services that a normal hospital has uh, but just on a really uh, much smaller scale um, there's also of course clinics all over the place um, just for example because I'm stationed here um, we have clinics around the hospital on the same base and clinics on a lot of different bases um, around Okinawa Japan um, just to throw some countries out there that I know we have hospitals and clinics. Um, we have on mainland Japan, we have um, in Spain, Italy, Cuba, Guam. So lots of exciting places to see and go to while you're in the Navy. Um, another type of duty station that you could go to as a nurse um, is with the Marines. So you have first, second, third, uh, medical battalions and those are in California and North, North Carolina and in, here in Okinawa. So what do we do as a nurse corps officer stationed with the Marines? We go on different missions. Um, normally if you're not on a mission, you're training in garrison. You're working at the battalion aid station, you're running um, the clinic or you're um, working like in the administrative offices and there's a lot of training and just know that if you are stationed with a Marine Corps uh, detachment um, or a battalion then you will have to keep up your nursing skills right because you're not working in a clinic and you're not working in a hospital so we have clinical sustainment hours that we still need to do so let's say I'm a third med nurse working here in Okinawa I can um, pick hours or days that I want to go and work at the uh, hospital and and work on the floor there like let's say I'm a ICU nurse or a medical surgical nurse um, I can ask to go work on the med surge floor or in the ICU for my clinical sustainment hours and to keep my skills up right um, another type of duty station that we have are FSTs or fleet surgical teams and this is where you have the opportunity to deploy in support of amphibious operations so it's the same type of deal as with the Marines. You're in um, a very deployable billet, so it's more about going on missions and whatever's happening in the world, supporting that mission. But while you're not on a mission, while you're just at your duty station, you still have to keep up your skills, your clinical skills, and work at a hospital or a clinic to keep your skills up. 
Um, <clears throat> the last duty station that I'll talk to you about are the hospital ships. So there's two hospital ships in the Navy. There is the USNS Mercy and the USNS Comfort. One is stationed in San Diego, uh, California. I was gonna say Florida. San Diego, California. And the other one is in Portsmouth, Virginia. And with these ones, the whole ship is a hospital. It's, it's like a floating hospital. And these typically um, deploy for humanitarian efforts. Um, so you'll go out to sea, you'll um, get off in whatever region or whatever country needs medical and dental help. You'll go and support that mission and then you'll come back on the ship. And I know sometimes the ship uh, will take on um, uh, some of the victims of like, um, for instance, Haiti, right? What happened in Haiti, they'll take patients and then take them to whatever level of care they need to go to um, to get better. So those are just a few of the, the big types of billets that you could get while you're a nurse corps officer in the Navy. There are a ton more um, that are kind of like hidden billets, like for just for instance, um, there is a billet with the White House. Uh, so if you want to work as a nurse with the White House team, that's kind of a special billet and you have to ask about that and you have to um, build up a great resume and be a really good nurse and uh, make sure you have all of your stuff together and um, you can put in a request and a package to work in the White House billet. Um, there's other things, administrative things that you could do, um, but you just, my biggest thing when you're in the military is seek opportunities, network, and that's how you'll find some of these cool, cool, awesome opportunities. So I hope that gives you some idea of what you could do while you're in the Navy. Um, and if I miss any cool opportunities um, that some of you that are in the Navy or you have served while, while you're in the Navy, please um, send me a message uh, right down in the comments below. We would love to hear about them. All right, till next time, have a great day.